Now let's look at what's going to happen at the beginning of the next adjustment period. If we wanted to figure out our balance at the end of the first year, which is the first adjustment period, that would take some time. I'm going to just go ahead and give you the value. That would be the balance, $83,593.45. And we're going to use what we know about the new interest rate to calculate what would be the new payment. We're using the same formula, except we have some adjustments to make. Our new interest rate is going to be based on the index rate of 9.2% plus our margin of 2.3%, which is an 11.5% interest rate. We have to, of course, use the decimal form of that number, and so we're going to have to replace little r with 0.115. T is referring to the time that's left on the loan. So since we're one year into the loan, that's going to be 20 years minus one is 19 years, and P is now 83,593.45. So let's replace all of those. R with 0.115, P with 83,593.45, and T with 19. And once again, the hard part, plugging into the calculator. So I've pulled up the uh, scientific calculator on my computer again, and I'm gonna use the same idea. I'm gonna work on the denominator first. So I'm going to divide what's inside the parentheses. I'm gonna divide 12 by 12.115 equals, and now I'm going to raise that to the power of 12 times 19. Now I can't do that one in my head, so I'm gonna hit X to the Y, and in parentheses, I'm going to type 12 times 19 and close the parentheses. That way I'm raising this number, 0.99-ish, to 228 and hitting equals. Now I want to subtract that from one. So one way I could do that would be to save that in the memory of the calculator. If you're using a Texas Instruments calculator, when you hit equals, it was already saved as the ANS function. But I have to hit M plus to save it. And now I'm going to type one minus memory recall equals. And now we have the entire denominator, the value of the entire denominator. And I'm going to um, clear my old memory and I'm going to save this guy. So that's the whole denominator. Now let's calculate the numerator and then divide by the denominator. So I'm gonna clear, we're going to say, Eight three five nine three point four five times point one one five divided by twelve equals and this is the value of the numerator and we're gonna divide that by the value of the denominator hitting memory recall and hit equals. We get nine hundred three dollars eighty three cents. $903.83. So you can see that the payment has gone up by about $83 for the second adjustment period. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. You can also leave any follow-up questions or questions about other topics in the comment section below.